There are all kinds of papers out there and everybody seems to roll up in their own special way. But an investigation of some of the most popular papers and wraps found that 16% of the products they tested were contaminated with pesticides and 90% had traces of heavy metals. We're about to look at how bad this contamination is and what papers you might want to avoid. What's up and welcome back to The Strain Show. If this is your first time here, my name is Matt and I am a cannabis industry employee, a medical marijuana patient. I love to learn everything I can about weed and that's exactly what we do on this channel. So don't forget to subscribe so you can put some nuggets of knowledge into your strain brain. So we talked about this on a live stream back when these test results first came out, but I never made a whole video about it. But this seems like something people should know because it's not cool when we're smoking nasty stuff and we don't even know about it. And most of these brands that tested positive for contaminants are brands that you would trust and expect to sell you something safe. So I'm gonna tell you all about these tests, what they mean, and show you what papers tested dirty. A cannabis testing facility in California called SC Lab started testing these papers after they started encountering some problems at their testing facility. Customers were failing pesticide tests for all the pre-rolls they would send in for testing, even though they had already pre-tested the plant material once before they rolled it up and it tested clean. This happened a couple of times in a row and they realized there was something weird going on. The president and co-founder of SC Lab said, all of these customers had pre-tested their plant material and it came up totally clean for all pesticides before rolling them into joints and submitting them for this batch testing. So obviously everyone was a bit surprised and curious as to where the contamination came from. The lab did some more testing and eventually the contamination was traced back to the rolling papers. So this was a big problem for SC Labs because if these papers are contaminated then they can't accurately test people's plant material because everything's just going to fail because the paper is contaminated. So SC Labs decided to do a much deeper dive and do a lot more tests to find out how frequently these things were contaminated and to measure the exact levels of contamination so they would know exactly how bad it really was. They tested a total of 110 different products, some that they got locally in Santa Cruz and some that they got online, including rice papers, hemp papers, cellulose papers, pre-rolled cones, and wraps. In total, 51% of the products they tested contained some levels of pesticides and 21% were above the state action limit for the relevant pesticides. So the action level is where the level of contamination is to where they can take action against you, meaning that if you have this much contamination on your weed, you can't sell it. So if the same amount of pesticides that were on these rolling papers would have been actually on the plant material, it would have been illegal to sell that stuff. But the rolling papers aren't regulated like the flower is. Besides pesticides, another 22% of the papers also tested positive for different types of heavy metals that were above the action limits for California. California. But the worst test results came from all three of the cellulose-based papers, which all far exceeded the action limits for heavy metals with concerning amounts of lead. And a lot of the papers that had the worst test results were actually hemp-based, and you would think of those to be like, I don't know, more organic and shit. But since hemp is a bioremediator, it will use its roots to draw up heavy metals out of the soil, and then it will hold it in the plant fiber, and then that will make it all the way into your rolling paper. But before I tell you what brands tested dirty and I ruin your favorite papers forever, let's look at what these tests actually mean before we freak out for no reason. The worst thing by far in these tests were these clear cellulose type rolling papers. The cellulose based rolling papers came in thousands of times over the inhalable limit for lead basically maxed out the calibration on our instrument. As a consumer, I would be very wary of those products in particular until more data came back. I would say cellulose-based rolling papers as a category. So if you like to roll up with those clear cellulose papers, you might want to switch it up. But most of this other stuff might actually be relatively safe. But hear me out, the action limits in California are pretty strict. They have pretty strict regulations on their weed. And if you look at the amount of contamination in the paper in relation to the whole pre-roll, the final product would still test under what's called the action limit, 
meaning that it's still considered safe to sell by the state of California. So if you're just smoking a few of those, you'll probably be fine. I would maybe be wary that if I consumed a lot of these wraps every day that maybe I'd want to cut back. I'd treat it sort of like how we treat some types of fish that are known to have high levels of mercury. You just limit your intake as a consumer. But rolling papers don't have any regulations for testing like the plant material, so it's always good to know what brands out here are testing real dirty so you can avoid them if you want to or if you need to. Now there were like 90 something samples that had traces, but these that I'm about to list were the worst offenders. Blueberry zigzag cones had far over the action limit for cadmium and arsenic. Smoke Clear Kings had an insane amount of lead. The action limit is 0.5 micrograms, and these had 55.1 micrograms. Aladia Cellulose Papers had even more at 60.3 micrograms of lead. Twisted Hemp Tropical Breeze Wraps had over double the action limit for arsenic. Hubba Bubba High Hemp's tested positive for the pesticide Chlorpherius. King Palm's berry terps tested positive for the pesticide cypermethrin. These hemp plants are really good at pulling heavy metals out of the soil and they can end up in your papers or just even right in the buds of the plant you're smoking. And you can learn all about that in this video. Or watch this video to see how the government is trying to ban all of our flavored blunt wraps altogether anyways. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe for good vibes and those nuggets of knowledge because when you watch The Strange Show, it's like going to weed college. Peace.